Hey, what's up everybody? Jesse Krieger here and welcome to day two of the Abundant Author Challenge. In day one, we talked about how to shift from a scarcity mindset to an abundance mindset and how to think in terms of non-zero sum outcomes. Really what we covered is how to look at a pie that can expand instead of thinking that if somebody else gets a piece, there's none left for you as well as how to not think in terms of win-lose, but how to create win-win outcomes and how to create an upwards forward momentum um, by thinking in those terms. So today I wanna to talk about how do you begin to attract opportunities to you that are in line with what you really wanna focus on and how to really almost at will be able to generate interest in the exact kind of products, services, or experiences that you really wanna provide, ideally leveraging your book as a key part of that. So let's head into the office and get into it. All right, back inside the office here, let's get into it. So talking about how do you attract the opportunities, how do you bring potential clients and people into your audience that are both pre-qualified in the sense that they already know you, they're getting to like you, potentially even trust you, and that in turn makes them ready and willing to do business with you. Well, building off of what we talked about yesterday or in day one is all about how do you think in non-zero sum terms? Meaning if somebody buys your book, it doesn't mean they're not gonna buy anybody else's book. At the same token, if somebody hires somebody else as a coach or for a speaking gig uh, or to attend a live event, doesn't mean they won't do the same for you. So with that in mind, it really is about uh, delivering value and offering either a taste of what you have to provide a, a part of the overall experience for free in order to get people engaged with your content, engaged with your ideas, engaged with your strategies, ideally getting actions and getting some results. And if that's the case, then you've really set yourself up to have the monetization conversation, to have the talk that results in you getting paid. So thinking about what specifically that you can do or give away. Well, one, if you've got your book, then you've already got a treasure trove of content. So that can be turned either into social media posts where you're highlighting key quotes or key ideas and sharing those out and inviting people to comment and share what that means to them at a simple, more social media focused standpoint, or creating a resource that you give away online few examples from my business is bestseller blueprint which is basically a 40 page pdf you should see it on the screen now and whenever i've offered this or given away or partners have mailed out and promoted there's about an 80 percent conversion rate meaning people that see this page or see this offer for bestseller blueprint which is really a synthesis of an author training program i used to run is giving them a blueprint in effect on how to go through the book launch process. So that's one thing, but by giving it away for free, think about how that sets up what we do as a publishing company and all the work that we actually do with authors. It's actually showing um, a good part of the process that we work with people in the thousands and up into the uh, five figures for publishing and professional uh, author services. So. That's one example of giving something away for free that gets people engaged with your content and ideally starts to get them having a result of some sort so that that anchors back to you, meaning that as they get that result, they're attributing that success to something that you provided them. And here's another option. So in terms of giving away a sample chapter, giving away a resource, great way to build your audience, great way to get promotional partners to share what you have with their audience and in so doing brings people into your audience. Um, now let's say you have coaching or you do some sort of client work direct with your customers or clients, <clears throat> then maybe you want to get on the phone with them. And if that's the case, then offering something like a strategy session, a uh, complimentary coaching call, you can create a sort of sexy name for it, like a business breakthrough session. In our case, I offer what's called a publishing consultation. So however you want to phrase it, offering people some of your time or somebody on your team's time and asking them to answer a few questions and share some information about what they're looking for and what they hope to gain and some information about their background so that you can come into that call prepared 
but also so that you can add value. And just like if you're giving away a free resource, move the needle on one area in their life or business or relationship or in finance. And that begins or continues the journey of learning with you. Then from there, the next logical step is to talk about what you can do or what you can provide or what you have to offer that has a price associated with it, considering that now people have taken at least two or three steps down the path towards working from you in the form of learning from you. You with me? So quick recap, providing value, providing experiences, providing content for free that's directly in line with what you want to do and what you do offer for money. What are your services, products, and experiences? So in terms of attracting opportunities, it does start or it can definitely start by giving associated with what you actually want to be doing and what you do uh, do in terms of working with clients. Nice thing about giving free value in some shape or form, whether that's you know a, a PDF or a video series or um, a template or a worksheet or a blueprint or a consultation call or a strategy call or inviting people to a free event, the nice thing about all of that is it also gives you a great way to bring in joint venture partners. So we're talking about building an audience and we're talking about thinking in terms of win-win scenarios and situations, you offering something for free allows a partner, a third party, if you make that option available, for them to share that offer with their audience. How would that look? Somebody could say about me, hey, come learn from my friend Jesse Krieger. He's going to teach a course called Publishing Masterclass. Or come, uh, if you're interested in working on a book, answer these few short questions and have a publishing consultation with Jesse. That's just paraphrasing the outbound communication a partner can do to bring people into your offer. And as they come into your offer, they're coming into your audience. And that gives you the opportunity to deliver value, create some initial result or shift some perspective in their life so that they actually have moved the needle and accomplished something in that learning relationship with you. And that's what sets the stage to really effectively monetize your offer and get distribution and sales on, um, sure, your book, but here we're more focusing on how your book gets leveraged into having uh, business conversations, sales conversations, enrollment conversations, and we're going to dive into that and all the different aspects associated with that in the next video. There you have it. If you learned something or if you have a question or if this brings up uh, something for you, leave a comment below this video. Maybe you've got ideas on what you could offer. Put your ideas below and I'll give you my feedback on them. Maybe you've tried giving something away or tried enrolling partners and it didn't really work out for you. Tell me about that experience and let me see how I can chime in. I've got a lot of experience with dozens and dozens of partners over the course of building Lifestyle Entrepreneurs Press. And if you just enjoyed this video and you want to share some love, subscribe if this is on YouTube or like, comment and share if this is on Facebook. Appreciate you. I'll see you in day three and keep up the good work.